Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Thank You Hands Warm Hearts. How are you? So happy to be with you today. Very excited to have you with me. Um, we are starting Valentine's week and we're probably going to do it for about two weeks. That's always fun, right? To work on some projects um, for Valentine to say. So it's going to be Valentine treats and we are going to have fun. Um, I never got to um, do my project on Thursday for my live. Um, I had to cancel that. I had a perfect storm happen and I rarely cancel. So I hope that you will understand. But I'm back and it is Sunday and we are going to make this adorable mini nugget mailbox. So this is perfect for Valentine's. It's a great coworker gift or um, to put in your kid's lunchbox or to give to neighbors. Just put it in their mailbox. Um, it's super cute. So it's two Hershey nuggets and these are the toffee ones, um, toffee and almonds. And I've wrapped them together so that they fit in our cute little mailbox. And then, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how to make it. Our little mailbox flag is the bee and I have a little bee flying here on the side of my mailbox. The other side says be mine. So super cute and very, very easy. So of course we're using Be My Valentine because I cannot stop using it. Let me grab my stamps. I didn't pull them out ahead of time like I normally do, so bear with me. I'm trying to find the one that says Be Mine. It'll probably be the last one that I pull out. There's that one. And then I need the hearts. All right got them. They're all sitting right here next to me, but I just, of course, those were at the bottom of the pile. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, and I am going to show you um, what we're going to do. I have to lower my temperature, though, because it is very warm in here, and I'm burning up. So you're going to start with a piece of four and a quarter by one and a quarter inch cardstock. I am using sweet sorbet, and as always, the Simply Scoreboard comes out because I love it. <laughs> so you're going to score it at one inch and four inches. So four and one. You guys know I love to pull my scoreboard out, right? All right, and this piece is going to form the base of our mailbox. It's going to be the outer portion here of our mailbox. So we're going to go ahead and give this a cute curl. And this is going to be the mailbox bottom. See how we're forming it? You guys are going to love this project. It's so quick and easy. But before I glue it together, I am going to go ahead and add my designer series paper. It's a piece of one inch by three inch. And I'm going to grab my mat here. And we're going to attach this in the section between the two scored lines, okay? So let me grab my multi-purpose. Whoops, I shook, I shook it out. See if I can pick it up. <laughs> oh, let's add it to this end here. All right. So in between these two fantastic little lines right here. And you want to have about the same on the top and the bottom. So like on this side and this side, right? Because you want it to be even. And then we're going to put some adhesive on this little piece right here, this small piece. And then we're going to form our mailbox. Very easy, quick and easy project. You can make a ton of these. And just make sure that your glue, I mean, your DSP is glued down. It was lifting up, but I just pressed it down. All right, so that forms our little mailbox here, okay? 
So now we need one more piece and it is a piece of three and a quarter inches by one inch. And we're just gonna score it in one place. So let me bring my score, my score um, board back out. And you're gonna score it at one and an eighth inch. Okay. And then you need to get some form of corner rounder. Stampin' Up! doesn't have a current one, but I am gonna be using um, the detailed trio punch because it has the corner rounder on it and I am gonna be corner rounding this side and this side of the three and a quarter by one inch piece. So that's what you have, okay? Are you guys excited yet? I bet you're excited because this is pretty awesome. Okay. So now we have to um, attach our little mailbox, okay? So this is going to be the back of our mailbox right here. So I am going to put some tape. I know, hardly ever use tape, but sometimes you need tape and crafting, okay? So we're gonna take two very small pieces, okay, and we're gonna add like halfway, like that and like this, on both sides, okay? And then this is just gonna fold over. So we're gonna bring it in from the back here and we're gonna make sure that those pieces of tape go inside, okay? And then we're gonna just run our finger in there and grab them as soon as we push the top of that cardstock rounded piece. So we're gonna grab that on that side and on this side we're gonna do the same. So that little tape just kinda of holds that in place in the back of your mailbox, okay? And this is the front, it's gonna stay open. All right, and I forgot to put glue, but we're gonna put glue on the bottom here. I'm just gonna just stick my um, multi-purpose, see right in there, I put the glue. I forgot to do that, but you wanna place that in there and you wanna make sure that this back is even with that score line. And then you're gonna just push your finger in there and hold that until it grabs. So that's how you make your cute little mailbox. All right, now we are going to wrap our, um, what are they called? Hershey's Nuggets. So I'm just gonna run some seal on top of that one because I want them to stay together pretty easily. And I'm just gonna line the two of them up like so, okay? So you just wanna stack one on top of the other. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap them in this piece. And this is a piece of four inch by one inch. And I chose to use the heart, but you could use any print you want. All right, so we're gonna uh, glue that down. So all I'm gonna do is put um, the same seal adhesive on both ends on the bottom side, not on the side with the heart, okay? So the first side is gonna wrap around here and grab onto the nuggets. And I'm just gonna hold it and make sure that it looks good, and it does. And then this piece is gonna come around and just line back up there, okay? So then you're gonna slide these little guys inside of your mailbox. And when you um, present it, you wanna pull them out slightly. But for right now, we're gonna put them in. And we're gonna use some scrap cardstock. We're going to stamp our heart just like that. And we're going to use our punch and we're just going to fit this in. Hold it so that we can punch that out. So you're just gonna kind of figure out where you're gonna punch it, how much white you want around all the sides and all that good stuff. 
and then give it some love, okay? So there is our scrap piece for our heart, and we're gonna use a mini dimensional. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull the back off of that. And that's gonna go right here on the front of our mailbox, the flap that's down, okay? So now when you push out your pieces, it holds them from falling out, which is why I put that there. So now we're gonna work on our little flag and I'm trying to remember. Um, we're gonna use a quarter inch circle. Stampin' Up um, used to sell quarter inch circle punches. So you should have access to one or you can um, get one from Amazon or wherever, you might already have one from another company, okay? And then we are going to make the little um, mailbox flag. So we're gonna cut a thin piece, but not too thin. I think I wanna make it thicker. All right, there we go. Like that, that's good. Out of our scrap piece of sweet sorbet. And we are gonna glue the two together, okay? So we're gonna put our flag and then put our dot over the top of it, like that. And then we're gonna attach that onto our mailbox on this side here. All right, so I'm just adding that onto the side of my mailbox. Because my candies are in there, it makes it easy to press. All right, so now we're gonna do a little fussy cutting, okay? So we want a bee that's flying this direction. So we're gonna use this one right here. And I don't need that long of a piece. And then we're gonna put a bee on top of our as our flag. So I'm gonna use this little bee here for the top of our flag. So I'm gonna go ahead and go around. And this is the bees that are on the piece of paper that have the heart um, backing that I use for the wrap. So I'm just using the same piece, only the opposite side of it. And I'm just fussy cutting this cute little bee to be the flag on my Be Mine mailbox. And then we're gonna come over here and get his little stinger out here. I have to trim him better. All right, I'm very happy with my bee. So then he is gonna get attached right on top of my piece. And then we're gonna add this little bee over here onto our mailbox and I don't know how far I need so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this whole piece out and I'll trim it off um, where it's needed to be trimmed but I want to have that little trail behind him I think that's cute as he's buzzing around to drop off the mail right this is such a cute um, bundle and I'll use it again. Um, this isn't the only set that I'm gonna use for Valentine's Day, because I have used two weeks of this bee, but I um, had already made some, some Valentine projects that I wanted to use um, with the bee, so I'll have at least two, maybe three, and then I'll be using other stamp sets as well for Valentine's Day. All right, so we're gonna add our little bee here, see how that piece, and we'll just snip that off. So let's go ahead and attach him onto our mailbox. Grab my tweezers. And I'm gonna lay him against right here like he's flying, buzzing around. And then we're gonna press that into place. And then I'm just gonna snip that edge that we're not using. So he goes right there to the end. And for the B on top, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue and we'll add him there to the flag. Come on. There we go. So he is 
the little flag on our mailbox. And then to secure him to the other side, I'm just gonna cut a little rectangle piece. Hopefully that will fit behind the B. If it's too big, I'll have to trim it down. And I'm just gonna add that to secure him to that side there. It is a little too long. So I'm just gonna lift this up and trim it. And I'm gonna trim this corner also. All right, so we're gonna put some glue and then that'll just help to hold him in place on there. And I'm using this piece because that way it matches what's already behind him. All right, so let's get this out of the way and we gotta do our B mine. So I'm gonna put away this. I didn't clean my stamp, which is really not like me the heart, but I'm gonna clean it now. And we're gonna stamp in the same color, sweet sorbet. And then we're gonna trim it out. You can see on this one, I have it much smaller. So we'll just stamp it there, close our ink pad, clean our stamp. I'm gonna toss those back in. My bone folder, I don't think we need that, but we do need our snips. All right. So we're going to take our sentiment and I'm gonna trim along the bottom and along the side, and then I'm gonna separate them. Once I separate them, I can trim along that one and that one. All right. Throw these pieces away and we'll get some dimensionals out. <clears throat> I'm going to use some edges. I got to find my edges. Haven't used them in a while. There we go. All right. So let's cut some edges. There's that one. That one doesn't want to come off. And let's pull this one. Oh, come on. Sometimes I have the hairiest time with these little edge pieces, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull the back off of this one as well since the other ones have no back on them. All right, put my dimensionals away and my punch away. All right. Here comes the fun part. B, mine. There we go. Let's bring out our cute little, and then there's our little mailbox side. So cute. I hope you've enjoyed this project. Um, it's definitely a lot of fun and easy to make and um, makes quite a cute treat in my opinion. So I hope that you will try your hand at making some of these and I will see you tomorrow with another Valentine project. Let your friends know that I will have project for the next two weeks and then share these so that they will come and see what I have also for them to make. Thanks for being here guys. I appreciate you so much. If you're new to me, please subscribe. Let me know that you're new. Let me know where you're from in the comments and that you're new to my channel. I would love to welcome you. If you need a catalog, let me know. I'd love to be your demonstrator and um, please share my videos with your friends. I appreciate that as well. Thanks for being here. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping.